We have a brand new challenge in Clash of Clans that features an Egyptian theme as we have the new Egypt Warden on this month's Gold Pass. Not to mention we have the Egypt King, Egypt Queen, and Egypt Champion coming later this month along with a beautiful, beautiful scenery man i love this theme quite a bit and as always guys if you are planning on buying the gold pass or any of these skins don't forget to enter code bash well let's hop in to how to three star this challenge guys this one's tricky we got a lot going on on this base and we got some special hero equipment here we got frozen arrow we got giant arrow we got the eternal tome with the fireball and we have the haste vial with the royal gem on the the rc we want to make sure our warden's on ground mode so click that green arrow click the foot icon so he's on ground and when, there's a lot on there's, there's heroes protecting the town hall, there's kings, there's invisibilities, there's a lot. But this is what we're going to do, and it's very precise. So from this single target inferno, go straight down and count out four white tiles. And on that fourth white tile, we're going to place our Grand Warden in. That's going to allow Lassie to get out in front and tank that single, but also pull out clan castle troops. When this last Valkyrie gets right past that eagle, we're going to throw that fireball. So click the Warden's ability. Now make sure your Warden is fine, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up top. We're gonna put in the ice golem with two loons, two loons, two loons, and then two headhunters to deal with these enemy heroes up here. Now I have had it somehow where my warden gets too close to the king and gets taken out. If that happens, just restart your challenge. No big deal, you get unlimited retries here, but we should have everything like this. If you get that second archer tower, great, but we need to cook. So we're gonna go from the storage, we're gonna click the third white tile here on the right, and we're gonna click the queen's ability to send that giant arrow through the base and set off that invisibility. Now she's gonna step up, she's gonna get targeted by this invi uh, this single. We're just gonna make her invis here, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw in the RC here, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw in the skeleton spell just like so. Now if it's done right, the warden should stay up a little bit here. He does get taken out, that's okay. If we can get the warden up, that's great, but he has gotten taken out more times than not for me. But we want the RC to kind of just work through here with the queen, and just help get through this king and just thin out this whole area. So once the queen gets through there, she's gonna go to Phoenix. We're gonna be ready with another invis because the RC is actually gonna come over here. She's gonna get targeted by the monolith eventually. Once she comes out of this invis with the uh, box, I'm gonna go ahead and invis her again, and then we're gonna use her ability so she'll speed up and get this invisibility tower down. Perfect, guys, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw in this Inferno Dragon on this top right here, right at the town hall. Sometimes you're gonna need to put in one super dragon on this. If you do, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. I'm gonna put one super dragon over here just to clean this up so we don't have to backtrack. And then we'll put that super dragon there. And then the remaining super dragons just put through here. They'll go through the clan castle and then they'll go for all of those single target infernos and we'll be good here. Now I have had it where the warden stays up and I've actually crushed this base uh, with like three super dragon swag. And I don't really wanna show this. I want this to be as realistic as possible and I think Three Super Dragon swag just isn't as realistic as possible. I know this one's very precise and detail oriented, but if you follow these steps, you should be able to get this most of the time. I'm not even gonna say every time because this is a pretty tricky challenge. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is a very tough challenge. I'm very interested to see what other cre content creators come out, uh, come up with for this uh, this challenge. But this one has been working for me. And like I said, and at times if I can keep that warden alive. I've gotten a lot of swag on this one, but that's how we're gonna three star this brand new challenge in Clash Clans. If this one was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.